Alright, so how do we use NodeScript on Firefox add-ons? Basically, go to the website for the Firefox add-on, download NodeScript, and it will be installed. It will restart your Firefox. But um, once it's installed, you can update it, uninstall, save it, whatever, up to you. But how do we get this thing to work? Well, I have a site here called Newgrounds. Here we are. Now, I have never been to this site. Um, it looks pretty cool. But to enable this site, since it's prevented, notice how it says scripts currently forbidden. You go to options and you allow it. Now only allow the site itself if you believe that it's safe and that you trust it. There are other sites, say CPM Star, never heard of that. I don't know what that is. NG files, that's obviously new ground files, so I'll allow that. Let's see here. New ground ads. Now I'm not gonna allow ads. Okay. Okay, look. Before the um, ng files, I just allowed that, and this app popped up. So let's see what happens if we forbid it. There you go. The ad is gone, which tells you um, you could you know block out certain ads you don't like, and certain things that might harm your computer. Say if you're downloading um, movies or stuff, and you Google that and you don't know if it's real or not. You don't know if it's, you know, trustworthy. The site itself maybe has viruses or worms. This is the best first line of defense. So let's see here. You have all of these here. You can, uh, your recently blocked sites and any untrusted sites. Basically, everything here is for you to control. You're, you're in control of everything. Now here you can allow scripts or revoke them all or temporarily allow all on this page. These are choices that are easily defined. Other than that, this has been a very simple tutorial or guide on how to use no script for Firefox add-ons. If you like to subscribe, just press the subscribe button on the right um, or in the bottom. Thank you very much.